Welcome back. The Bruins offense struggled in the first three games of the year, but the scoring has really picked up. Thank you, Jason. Well, we are watching and waiting to see if the Patriots are finally going to take on the Denver Broncos today at 1 o'clock. People saying these politicians and athletes are setting a bad example for the rest of us. Others saying, listen, no one has all the answers right now. Developing news regarding the Patriots. While we're all waiting to see if the team will play tomorrow, we do know their facility is open this morning. Celtics fans may remember a similar story in Lynn Bias, only this one is for a Roxbury native, one that, as you can see, the community absolutely adored. Tom Brady is looking to head to his 10th, like, 10th Super Bowl. Still ahead, the former Patriot turned Buccaneer talks about what's at stake. This is at the Washington Wizards versus Philadelphia 76ers game in Washington. Watch as a fan somehow escapes security and makes it onto the court. Security was able to tackle him before he was able to get any access to any of the players. After scoring five times Thursday night, the Bees did even better this time around. Boston dominated Philadelphia at the Garden last night. It was tied 1-1 early in the second period, but the Bees rolled from that point on, scoring five straight goals to the win, 6-1. to one. The Bees have two more home games this week as they host Pittsburgh Tuesday and Thursday. The Celtics host the Cavaliers tonight, and it's still not clear whether or not Jason Tatum will play in the game. Brad Stevens says Tatum is, quote, closer than not when it comes to rejoining the lineup. Tatum cleared the NBA's COVID-19 health and safety protocols last week. Patriots fans defending the Monday night football game versus the Chiefs, despite each team having a player test positive for COVID-19. Fans say both teams have technically already been exposed. They're not really in contact with fans either. They're keeping it within the NFL. This fan saying even if negative testing players test positive later, they'll have several days before the next game to find out. But other fans fear this game could be a super spreader event that could alter the entire season. I don't know if it's necessarily enough for them to completely shut it down yet. But I really hope that it doesn't, that this isn't the kind of tipping point for the NFL. I mean, schools are closed. Essential businesses aren't aren't able to operate um, as well as they should be. Uh, we're telling kids you can't go to school, but we can have football. From the football arenas to the political arena. Epidemiologist Hannah Gardner says when our society's VIPs carry on business as usual, when someone contracts COVID-19, that sends a different message from when public health officials tell the rest of us to quarantine. When our role models in our society are not projecting that in their words and in their actions, it's hard for public health professionals to effectively um, relay that message to the public. So you'd say these politicians and athletes are basically setting a bad example for the rest of us. Absolutely. We're sending a big message about our values. Both politicians and sports leagues are having to make tough decisions daily. It's important for politicians to be out there and spreading their message. But they can't forget the rest of the country is watching and in many cases following their lead. They're not handling it well at all with like the social distancing and maybe quarantining everyone who's been around him. Then that's kind of setting a bad example, especially because he's the leader of our country. And the epidemiologist saying the sad part about the mixed messages, Vanessa, is that it's coming during a time when almost every single state is going up in the number of cases. Well, we are less than a month out from the election. If that wasn't the case, do the experts that you talk to still think that there would be mixed messages out there? The epidemiologist says, sadly, no. She pointed me back to March when we were far off from the election. She said even back then she saw a lot of politicians not taking all the precautions and still acting with cavalier attitudes.